Good morning everyone. I thought I'd do a little blogging today. It's the day before Thanksgiving and I figured I'd share today and tomorrow as well because it's you know fun to keep it as a little memories and also to share with people. Oh, setting up my bagels. I have um, some bagels here, some plain bagels and some coffee and I wanted to tell you that the French vanilla coffee with this vanilla caramel is amazing together. I mean it's just I thought other flavors were delicious but this this takes the cake. This is really 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 good. Both together just taste good. So let's see what I got going on today. I got my turkey here ready to get prepped. Um, I got my oh this not hot water starting to boil so I can uh, this is my brining water so I can put it in my turkey and I'm going to add some just different herbs like some thyme some rosemary I'm going to add some kosher salt some whole oregano some garlic powder some parsley flakes basil leaves and some minced onions and I don't follow like a plan it's just these are herbs that I like so I add it in and it just stays overnight it gets washed off tomorrow but um, I also have some of my baking stuff out and I got you know my stuff that has to come to room temperature the eggs the butter and the cream cheese and then a couple of my box mixes uh, what is this? Cornbread. <laughs> Cornbread and pumpkin spice. The cupcakes. And then I saw this. I don't know if I hauled it. But it's um, maple bacon frosting. It's a limited edition. I showed my son and he, <laughs> he was grossed out. Um, maybe I won't put the bacon on it. But I thought the maple syrup, uh, the maple uh, frosting would taste kind of good. We'll see. We'll see how it works. And then... I got these two different cans of pumpkin mix um, when I was buying the pumpkin you know puree for the pie I always get this one and this one says it's for um, I guess for the pies but then I looked at the recipe a little bit better and it said that you gotta get the one that doesn't it's not for pie I, I don't understand the difference I'm guessing this has like all the you know nutmeg and all that cinnamon stuff in there but I think just to be safe I might go for the one that's just 100% pumpkin so we'll, we'll see how that turns out so I um, got a couple little dishes to clean up from the morning and for my bagels I'm going to try this cream cheese spread salted caramel we'll see how good this is hmm I know they have um, a latte or coffee that's salted caramel. I've been wanting to taste it, so hopefully, maybe this will give me an idea. And then I have all my recipes out that I'm going to be using. So, that's how my morning's been going. And let me show you something here, my trees. So last year we had um, our two regular big trees and We've had them for years and years and they were kind of looking shabby so we got rid of them because we figured we'd get some new trees this year. Well the time got away from me and I didn't get any trees and right now it's what you know it's the end of November and in a month about a month from now they're going to put them on clearance so I'm not going to I don't want to spend a lot if I can get them on clearance later. So what I had was this tree here. Uh, Walmart had them on clearance last year or earlier this year for they were $20 trees and they were on clearance for $5. I got two of them. When I took them out of the box, they're like, they look nothing like the picture. They're, they're so, I mean, they're kind of tall, but they're so skinny. I like full big trees. So then Kmart was putting, they had like a, this quick sale this past weekend. And this tree is from Kmart, and it was a $50 tree, and they had it for $15. I actually have it on a stand, on a crate, to give it some height. Now, it's, 
again not what it was in the box but I mean the picture in the box it is a little fuller but and I still have to you know work on the fluffing but um you know I'm gonna work with it I figure if I put it on a crate it gives it some height it does look nice you know on the crate um but and I guess once you know you fill it up with the ornaments and the lights and all that kind of stuff it will change it'll look nicer the one that I want that I wanted from Walmart is a flocked tree so I'm going to attempt to do that myself with this tree and then hopefully it'll turn out nice and no one will be disappointed <laughs> But I also saw, I was looking up, because this is a crazy idea of mine. I was telling my husband, how about if we took these two trees and we meshed them together and made a, you know, a fuller tree. And he's looking at me like, really? <laughs> but you know what? I looked it up online. I Googled it. And sure enough, there is a wiki page. I think that's what you call it. That They do, they, they do show you how to do it. So I brought this one up. I'm going to see if I can how it look. They look kind of similar. Maybe not so much in color. I like the colors off a little bit. I don't know if it's the lighting. But I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then, you know, I'll just go with the one. But, you know, we'll see. You, you never know until you try, right? So, for our snow, this is what we have left. And it's kind of sad to see all the leaves already all mushy and gone. I don't know, I feel like we didn't have a lot of fall, but, um, yeah, you see those footsteps? We have a meter on this side over here, and the meter guy comes to read it. The first time I saw those footsteps, because we've been here a year now, November 22nd, and last winter when I saw some footsteps, it freaked me out, and then I followed it one day, <laughs> and I realized there's a meter, but then they were reading the meter, but... Now I know what now now I know what it is because really nobody's supposed to be around here, just us three. Um, you know, there's a neighbor over there, us here, and then over there. And if you can see, that's the landlord. This is all his property, but we do get some kind of people that do come. They cut through over there. Look at me giving you a tour. <laughs> they cut through over there and they and they walk by sometimes, which is not nice. But so there you have it. Um, I'm going to continue, well, I'm going to eat my breakfast, because this did ping, I think I heard a ping, and, um, check on my, I think my water's boiling, add my stuff, and, oh, it's almost there, I think I could add it now, and I got a load of laundry downstairs, that's what my timer's going on for, so I will check it in a bit. And let you know how things are going. So I hope your day is going well. And I hope some people blog so I can see how their preparations go as well. <laughs> I'm, I, I like to see other people's stuff going on, their days, their daily happenings. So um, I'll catch you in a bit. Oh my goodness, I want to tell you this is really good. Really good. And it smells so... Oh my goodness, it smells like those little caramel candies, the, the chewy ones. Oh, delicious, delicious. If you guys want to try it, try it because it's just, if you've been hesitating, because it's kind of, a, you know, you think it's a weird flavor, don't. This is delicious. Mmm, I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast. So I went with the layered pumpkin cheesecake because it seemed so much more better than the one that was online. I like the two different layers. And I started with this one first because it takes... 10 hours and, and a half, I guess, all together. But let me show you. Let me turn the light on here. It's in there. So it's in there for an hour and a half. And I already got my turkey inside the brine. Waiting for my husband to put it in the garage because it's really cold in there. It's like a fridge. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't keep this. I make, I don't make homemade gravy. I never learned. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's not that hard, but... Um, I'm going to throw that away, get this washed, and put this stuff away because this is an hour and a half to, to bake. I'm going to brush her out and make my bed because let me show you. 
it's unmade. <laughs> I don't want to go in there because it's kind of messy. But I'm going to get that done and cross the cheesecake off my off my list and I'll check in as I keep progressing. So here's my pumpkin layer cheesecake. Kind of drop some. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think it's supposed to do that. I've made a cheesecake once before and I was like maybe mm, like six years ago. So I don't remember exactly if it's supposed to do this. <laughs> I'm hoping it is. But I know it's supposed to crack a little bit, but hopefully it'll taste good. And here are my cupcakes. I can never get exactly um, an even, you know, how do you say, um, for them to be even inside the little liner. I get some that are shorter, some that are more. I know people use a scooper and I just, I just eyeball it <laughs> and I guess that's what I get, but they came out kind of funky looking. I don't know if it's the mix. I've never made this before, but this kind of puck, uh, cupcakes before, but I'm hoping they taste really good. I mean, they smell really good. So I didn't get an even 24, but that's fine because we're going to have other things. And my husband's not a big fan of pumpkin. So um, my son will get, he'll like it. So now I'm on to the cookies. Oh, let me show you Daisy's little bowl. Her, her pre Thanksgiving bowl. Let's see. <laughs> She's, let me see. Come here. Come here. Come on, right here. See? Oh, such a good girl. It's a little um it's a little Indian. She's so cute. So she'll wear this today and tomorrow. She has a different one. So um so now I'm gonna start my cookies I'm gonna put this away I, th I think I've watched this just so many times today but um so I can put my my layered pumpkin recipe away and this is clean I can put this away this usually goes in the oven so I gotta kind of leave it out here and then after the cookies um I can't have to use this <laughs> turn this light on <clears throat> My throat's leaving. I think it's just all the running back and forth and up and down. I think I've lost 20 pounds just running up and down the stairs. Wouldn't that be awesome? But um, I got this to make uh, the corn muffin. And I'm going to make, oh, and then the pumpkin cornbread. And then I'm going to make a honey butter for these two. And I got this butter up here chilling because. Um, this this mix here came already with uh, a frosting. It's a cake and frosting mix, and I'm gonna make it and see what it tastes like. Let's see if I can take it out. See if it tastes good. If not, um, I could do half this and half this maple one because I tasted this one, and it's it's good. I mean, I'm not gonna put the ba the bacon on top of it, but. The maple part is really, really good. Um, so I might do one of, you know, half and half. And um, other than that, what else? Well, so far that's it. So far it's just I'm going to start my cookies. Got my um, mixer ready to go. And let me lock it. And then, then the bread. So I'll check in when I'm done with all that stuff. So my cookies are done. They look really nice and they taste very good. And these, they taste pretty good. I had one and I had my husband taste the other one. <laughs> They're really small. I should have just made 12 of them and used the whole thing just on one, um, one, ten, one, Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm so tired. Just on one, one of these. There we go. So, um, but that's fine. That's fine. Bite size uh, cupcakes. That's cool. And um, I was going to make the bread pudding, but I had forgotten that a while back I had frozen, I brought up a loaf of bread because that's what I make it with. 
sandwich bread and I froze it because I didn't want it to be used, you know, like someone wanted to make sandwiches or something and I didn't want to make sure, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget it and I forgot to take it out. <laughs> so I can't, I can't make the bread pudding today. So, um, you know, I got most of my baking done. Um, I can make the bread pudding tomorrow morning and I'm going to make uh, these things tomorrow morning because I realize that I want them fresh and if I make them tonight they're not going to be fresh so and these are these are pretty quick I think they take what like um what they maybe 35 minutes this one 37 maybe well this one I might make into muffins so yeah this will be this one will be 20 about 22 minutes and then this one should be about the same, 20 minutes. So I think I could do these in the morning and do my bread pudding in the morning before before my turkey because um, yeah, I think I can. Get, I'm getting up at eight o'clock, so yeah, if I get up at eight o'clock and I put my turkey to bake. Um, when I start preheating the oven at 12:30, so I have I have about four hours where I can I can do it I can do the baking finish up my baking. So I'm going to end the vlog here. My feet are killing me from running up and down the stairs for the laundry and and standing here in the kitchen. I spent the whole day in the kitchen. Just um, I got I don't know who she's waiting for. There's nobody there. <laughs> um, just on my feet all day but that's okay it's worth it I'm excited for tomorrow and um, I plan to vlog again tomorrow like I said this morning just to vlog the whole day because I think it's you know it's a holiday and it's nice to share and um, I will see you in the morning and Daisy says bye yes speak speak you know I used to have a dog my new Fallon I mean, he passed away two years ago, but he would speak on command, or if you would, you know, talk to him, he'd bark back like he was talking. <laughs> well, not talking, but, you know, dog talking. Dog talking. <laughs> but she doesn't. She doesn't doesn't speak at all. My cat does. You can meow at him, and he meows back like a whole conversation. She's just quiet. She barks if someone's at the door, but that's about it. All the most, she's just... She's a good little girl, right? You want glass eye? Yes? <laughs> These are ears react. So everyone, I will see you tomorrow morning and I hope you're having a good prep before a prep Thanksgiving, a day before. Oh my goodness, my mind. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Eve. That's what my sister said this morning. She was happy Thanksgiving Eve. So I hope you're having a good one. And I will see you in the morning and have a good evening. Bye-bye.